Hi, this is Theo from Pocketblocks.com. Today I'm going to review the Artisu D13. This is a pen digitizer display. It's a tablet size monitor that you can draw on. It's made by UC Logic and they have sent me this review unit to use for a few weeks. Today I'm going to talk about the hardware, the driver, the drawing performance on both Windows and Mac OS. Um, this review is going to be a bit long so if you want to save some time you can check out my text review which talks about the same thing I'll post a link in the video description below if you want to watch this video let's start let's talk about the different things that are included in the box we have the display we have the HDMI cable we have the USB cable the USB cable actually splits into two so one goes to the power outlet and one goes to your computer and right now I'm actually powering this screen using my laptop alone let me show you the different ports here this is the USB port and this is the HDMI port the USB port here is a USB 3 so this is powerful enough to power the screen alone so actually you do not need to use the power plug if you have enough power from your computer so this is the power plug it's very easy to identify which USB cable that goes into this one is the red one and UC Logic has provided different pins this is the three pin for my country this is the double round pin and this is the double flat pin it's very easy to fix it on just make sure that the shape is correct and put it down and then twist it it will lock into place and if you need the extra power this is where you'll get it other things that are included would be the pen case and inside there is the pen this pen does not need any power supply it's not battery powered so it's wireless two shortcut buttons the nib there are nine replacement nibs also included is a stand with rubber behind and this is quite convenient if you want to put it put your pen like this that's about all that comes in the box they also have a manual but no driver CD is included so you will want to download the latest drivers from their website something that is optional that you can buy that I think is quite useful is the stand this is the stand made by UC Logic and this is the back so this stand is capable of different position so basically you just put the tablet or your monitor display onto the stand and it will be able to stand like this um, one good thing about this stand is you can use it with any other tablet because you basically just put your uh, tablet or your laptop or whatever onto the stand itself there's no locking mechanism the bottom here is actually just rubber to hold your screen so that it doesn't slip and at the back it looks something like this you can have different positions and you can also tilt this around basically to get a very basically a very flat position very nice this will cost you something extra um, but I think it's quite worth it because if you want to use this as your main monitor you will probably need to make your monitor stand so that can, you can look at it like a normal screen build quality for this display is very good it feels very sturdy and the finishing looks very nice as well on the left side there's some sort of matte surface and there are six shortcut buttons each button has a nice firm feedback and a tactile feel to it there's this scroll wheel that you can use to change the brush size or you can set it to any function that you want to and if you are left-handed you can just tilt turn the display around and use it in a left-handed way you just have to update the driver and let to let it know that you're left-handed so um, this is a 13 inch IPS panel color reproduction is good but not as good when you are comparing it to premium monitors however the viewing angles are quite decent 
also they have already applied a screen protector over the glass surface so this is sort of like an anti-glare uh, screen protector it provides that additional friction for use with your stylus so that it doesn't feel so weird when you're drawing on the glass itself and from what I have experienced so far the pen feels quite nice on the screen at the back we have two big pieces of rubber to prevent the tablet from slipping on the table and there are also two small pieces of rubber here on the side here we have some controls this is to control the brightness and these are the ports here HDMI port and the USB port and this is the power button you cannot customize the I mean you cannot calibrate the colors using the buttons here you have to do it using your OS you have to do it do it using the drivers so let's talk about the drivers now you should download the latest drivers from their website and before you install the drivers there are a few things to do one is to make sure that the display is plugged into your computer first the other is to make sure that you uninstall all previous drivers that you might have such as the Wacom drivers or Huion drivers and then you can proceed to install the drivers but make sure that this display is plugged in first now I'm using Windows 10 here after installation the drivers will appear in two different places I don't know why one is one is down here in this folder called tablet and there's this very useful drivers manual inside there are a lot of troubleshooting tips you might want to check this out first if you have some problems and this is the UC logic monitor tuner so this is where you can calibrate the screen the colors so you just click on it and it will do the auto tuning of the colors the other place where you can find the drivers is down here in this small taskbar arrow here click on it and there's this tiny little tablet looking like icon you just click on it and this will bring up the drivers dialog box this dialog box is a bit different from the Mac OS dialog box but generally speaking the functions are quite similar so if you are left-handed you can choose to click left-handed right here and these are the hot keys that you can set one interesting thing is um, all these hotkeys are already preset to specific software and these softwares are Photoshop, Illustrator, Clip Studio Paint, Corel Paint so these four software currently there is no way you can set keyboard combos for example if you want to step backwards instead of undo maybe it's a control alternate Z you cannot do that because there's no way for you to enter the keys but from what the Artisu or UC Logic support staff has told me they will add in that functionality later on and this functionality is something you get on the Mac OS so that is very good pen setting so here you can test the pressure setting if you want to change the pressure curve you can do it right here there is some parallax to the screen that is because the glass is away from the screen itself so the cursor is not there's a bit of distance between the cursor and the pen nib not sure if you can see it let me zoom in closer for you So you can see that there is a distance there so you will need to calibrate your pen and to do that it's very simple you just click on this button which will help you calibrate so there will be four dots around the screen you just click on them one two three four and then hit ok and when you're drawing the parallax should be dead but this calibration will compensate for the parallax so all is good and let's do some drawing demonstration so I'm just going to open up mischief and show you some strokes this pen is very sensitive you can draw very light lines very nicely and if you press down hard you can get very thick lines the transition is also very nice so you can get thin and too thick quite smoothly the transition is quite smooth 
By the way, this drawing app is called Mischief. I do not see any jitter for this. And the tracking is quite fast and accurate also. Let me switch over to MIDI Bank Paint Pro. This is the drawing that I was drawing just now. So let me open a new file. So I'm using the scroll wheel to increase the brush size. And also, let me test the stroke right now. Okay, let me increase it a bit further. So this is also very smooth. Let me zoom in using the shortcut button and pan around, okay. Oops, let me undo that, which is my undo button. So I have to go and click this shortcut button because I haven't set my undo to this button here. So let me move this around and draw something. Again, maybe a, just a cartoon character that I always draw. I really don't have any complaints when it comes to the pressure sensitivity. It's really good and it works very well. So you can do cross hatching as well. No problem at all. And there's no um, diagonal line jitters too. Let me talk about a problem that I initially had. And that problem is with pen tracking. So sometimes um, I find that my pen tip and the cursor is quite a distance apart. And I don't know why that happens, but to solve it, you just go into your display settings here. Make sure you change the size of the text and other items to 100%. So change this thing here to 100%. If you are using an external monitor, I would recommend you change the resolution for the external monitor to match this one, 1080p, so that you can duplicate the display properly but that's about the only glitch that i have so-called glitch but now it's working fine now so yeah let's unplug this screen and plug it into the mac system once you plug it into the system it should detect the screen automatically so i have already installed the drivers in the mac system but i still want to show it to you because there are some differences um, to locate the drivers they are actually inside the applications folder so in this folder called artisu tablet and there's this artisu setting so you can see that the driver dialog box is different from the other one the main difference is the hotkeys so right now you can see that in addition to the four software that they give you for the settings there's this custom defined here and this dialog box here with this dialog box you will be able to type in whatever letter that you want and also the command keys so this will give you the ability to set different keyboard combos and this is very useful they should add that in the windows drivers soon let me open photoshop to show you what strokes this pen and display is capable of on the mac os let me create a new file a4 i'm going to use the shortcut button here to zoom in oops I'm going to use this scroll wheel to change the brush size and click the brush button to draw something. Let me just show you the strokes first. Again, this is very smooth. There's almost no lag whatsoever and it's very sensitive. You can do very thin lines and you can do very thick lines as well.
The transition between the thin and the thick is also very smooth. Let me undo that. So let me use the scroll wheel again to change the brush size. Press down hard. This is a pretty strange here. Specs. This guy has a very strange here, strange nose. Increase the brush size again. The buttons work very well. And seriously drawing on this is quite a satisfying experience. I also have mischief here. Let me open that up and do a, maybe a quick sketch. Same thing here, if you want very thin lines, you can do so. If you want the thick lines, just press down really hard. And if the pressure sensitivity is not what you like, you can change that in the settings. I have set the screen to mirror on the Dell monitor. I'm not sure you can see the difference, but the Artisu D13 is a bit warmer. If you want to do color calibration on the Mac, you have to do it through system preferences because there's no color calibration software provided by the Artisu driver on the Mac. Let's do a pros and cons recap. I like the design of the monitor. It's very nice. It's very well built, very sturdy. The buttons have a nice tactile feeling to it. The screen protector provides a nice drawing surface for the pen. When it comes to drawing performance, it's also very good. Pressure sensitivity works very well. The lines taper very smoothly, gradually, and you can get all sorts of transition. There's almost no lag at all when it comes to drawing. As for the cons, well, one thing is, the tracking is not very accurate when you go to the edges of the screen but that has never affected how I draw on the screen because usually I don't draw all the way to the edge of the screen. The thing is, I can still assess the menus right at the top. I can still assess the buttons and the tools at the far left side or the right side with no problem at all. I just felt that I wanted to point that out. But uh, when it comes to drawing functionality, um, even though it doesn't track all the way to the edge, it doesn't really matter that much. The other con is the drivers. Make sure you install the latest drivers. Initially, I had some problems with the drivers, but after UC Logic sent me the latest drivers, I installed it, and now on both Windows and Mac, it works flawlessly. By the way, if you have any issues, you can also submit a support ticket on their online forum. They actually have a representative on their forums to answer and the person is quite responsive. I think that's all for my review today. Overall, I find this tablet to be... Uh, it performs well. I think it performs very well when it comes to drawing. So that's the takeaway point for you. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as many as possible. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do so for more art product reviews, sketching tips and techniques. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.